Our first guest tonight is a BYU alum and president and CEO of Brady Plus, the title sponsor of this program, which we love. Uh, we first became friends in Las Vegas when our boys played on the same Little League team. His wife, Laura, was our team mom. Uh, the son, uh, Ben, was the third base. His other son, Jared, was in right field. My boy, uh, Andrew, was at shortstop. Was a juggernaut. Nice. Our pleasure to welcome Travis Brady to the Wise Guys. Travis, is there uh, is there is it hard to identify a better time in life than when we had the Little League Cubs? Oh, it, it doesn't get any better than that. You know, I think what we had one fully uh, undefeated season. Yeah. Uh, had a great group of kids that played together for a while. Had a lot of fun, and you know what? We're we're great along the way. And but, yeah. you know, of course, had an unbelievable coach. Uh, we had a coach that was questionable, uh, but uh, we had a helicopter. We had we had more coverage on that little league team on Channel Eight in Vegas. It was the, seriously the most hyped little league team in in the world. But our no kids doubt. loved it. Our kids loved it, and those were the glory years. Those were the glory years, and the Bradys were a big part of it. Now, when you were at BYU, Ty Detmer was a freshman quarterback, and you left on your two year church mission. When you got back, he was still the quarterback, but he had won the Heisman. And while you were also gone as a lifelong Las Vegas, the Running Rebels won the national championship. So exactly, yeah. So I missed you know some real sports highlights you know while I was on my mission, but but that's okay. What did your BYU experience mean to you, and and how has it influenced your life? Yeah, you know, and, and which which leads into why we love supporting BYU. You, you know, I think if I look at myself personally, a lot of like great pivotal moments happened for me. You know, as at BYU, you know, certainly arriving there, you know, as a as a eighteen year old freshman, having graduated uh, from high school here in Las Vegas, you know, it kind of solidified my decision to serve a mission. It really connected me with people and friends that would be you know influential throughout my life. You know, and, and you know, clearly one of the you know, best and biggest things that happened. I met my wife, yeah. you know, having, you know, recently returned, you know, home from a mission, you know, met uh, at, at BYU, even though she was from Las Vegas, we didn't know each other there, but, you know, met, met at BYU and, you know, here we are, you know, 32 years later and, and going strong, but a lot of great things in my life really happened or started at BYU. Awesome. Travis, what, what's the experience been like having, you know, three kids grow up, go to BYU and having your youngest on the on the volleyball team, I can only, I would say, pray maybe even fast that even one of my kids would consider <laughs> to go just because of, of my experience. But but what's that like? Um, you know, coming on, on the, the the father side of things and, and seeing your kids, you know, go through what they're going through. It, it's been awesome. I mean, all three of our kids have had amazing experiences at BYU as well. You know, um, it, you know, and it's funny we have now a couple grandkids. Our, our granddaughter, who's two and a half, is already singing the BYU fight song. So you know we're either you know <laughs> setting her up for great excitement or great disappointment. You know, you know, of course, not everyone ends up attending BYU for all kinds of reasons. But you know, for us, you know, certainly there's a lot of like intrinsic value for us. A lot of you know history, a lot of memories, a lot of great things that have happened there. So it's been you know incredible for my wife and I to be able to kind of share that and see it through the eyes of our kids. You know, if they've you know, attended, uh, you know, through BYU, uh, you know, met spouses in many cases there as well. And so uh, it is amazing to see that come full circle. Travis Brady, president of Brady Plus, is on The Wise Guys, live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and wiseguys.com. Our weekly podcast will be out tomorrow. Let's talk about Brady Plus. It's a much different and much bigger company than the one you took over in 2008, keeping, of course, the company in the family, but now it is massive. What is your area of emphasis as you conquer the world here? Yeah, you know, things, things certainly have evolved from, you know, a third generation family business, you know, started in 1947. But, you know, we've we've expanded, we've come together with a with really a family of companies. There's really 65 legacy companies similar to our heritage that now, you know, have come together to join what is now the Brady Plus family, uh, you know, representing, you know, uh, families and businesses coast to coast over 150 distribution centers, you know, 6,000 employees, you know, really specializing in that commercial, you know, cleaning, sanitation, as well now as food service, you know, so everything from kitchen sanitation to food service disposables, can, you know, to go containers, as well as an industrial packaging, you know, so, you know, corrugated boxes, tape, you know, uh, stretch film, all these things that are, you know, everyone's really zoning out, uh, you know, right now talking about. <laughs> hey, but, but we you know, all have them. We all have it in our homes. 
you know, we're a company that lives behind the scenes, right? You know, we, we're in the back hallways, we're, you know, wherever we need to be, you know, just, just, you know, helping people shine outwardly and, and, you know, we help them, you know, have what they need and do what they need to do behind the scenes. You know, there's that sign on campus, enter to learn, go forth to serve. And so when you go back, Travis, to when you're a student, considering what you're doing today with, with 6,000 employees and, and the wide reach of your company, did you have any idea that a few years down the road, this is where you'd be? You know, it's, it's an interesting question. You know, people ask that. You know, I grew up in a family business, so people will say, well, clearly you always knew what you'd be doing. Uh, you know, and I grew up in the warehouse. I don't remember my first day. Uh, I vaguely remember the first day I actually got paid, <laughs> uh, you know, which I'm sure was, you know, something below minimum wage at the time. But, um, you know, there was never like an inherent pressure, but I love business. I, you know, certainly was connected in a really personal way to our company. Uh, not only what we did, but the people in our company. I think there's something really special about the culture at Brady Plus that, you know, that feels very much like a part of our family. And and so, you know, as that opportunity arose, as I left BYU, uh, started in a a position there, you know, it was just a natural evolution. But, you know, today to see how the company has grown and, you know, so many more people have joined the family and had so many, you know, great opportunities, you know, it's really something that we're proud of. Well, look, it was 120 degrees down there last week. You don't have to live in Las Vegas forever, <laughs> Travis. There are other places, especially yeah. Provo, which you, which you get to quite a bit because your grandkids are up here. That's right. You know, we have two kids as it stands today up in Utah. That's going to drop to one in August as our daughter and her husband and family are actually moving to Las Vegas. We're slowly, you know, this gravitational pull <laughs> hopefully is going to pull uh, everyone back, but of course, uh, Jared's still there, and we'll we'll always, you know, be up in Utah, BYU, and a lot of other things that bring us up there that will escape the heat, uh, especially on those really bad days. <laughs> right, it's it's your, it's your second home, so um, sure. I'd, I'd love to to interact and and see you, uh, meet you in in person officially. Um, and it's it's I, I I've had my own business as a consultant. I don't like to say it's it was a business because it was just me, right, right, right. <laughs> by myself doing yeah. doing marketing. And um, it, it was always in, intriguing to you know talk to entrepreneurs and, and business owners of why they feel the need to to help out when it comes to athletics and and specifically BYU and you know getting involved in the Cougar Club and and with you getting involved with the Wise Guys and and so that's my question to you what what is what makes you getting involved in supporting you know at, at BYU athlete, uh, athletes and, and athletics uh, important to you. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a great question. I I mean, I think it's important to give back how, whatever that means, you know, I I don't, you know, I think whether that's serving your neighbor, I think whether that's, uh, you know, you know, doing, you know, nice, you know, things for people as it comes up, just being even kind to people that you interact with. I think that, you know, brings yourself joy and it, you know, hopefully you leave the world a little bit better than when you found it. You know, for us, we've had the opportunity hopefully to do that, you know, within our communities, but, you know, to help out financially in ways that, you know, can help people have a great college experience, can have a great athletic experience. And, you know, we really love, you know, what what BYU does in both of those things. I think it prepares people, you know, to be good people, in, you know, in life, in careers and families, you know, in athletics, you know, is certainly a, a conduit to that. Um, uh, you know, we have athletes in our family. And so we maybe have a, maybe a personal connection from that aspect. You know, but certainly love, you know, athletics, BYU TV, you know, and the, and the way it kind of share, uh, you know, kind of maybe the, the BYU message and, you know, the, the great things that are happening there more broadly, uh, but really any way we can, you know, to help help in ways that we can. We love that uh, it allows uh, it allows us to tell the story right? To, or to, to do the interview, uh, to do the ball game. Um, it, it's one thing to have a, an, an awesome message. And then it, it takes people like, uh, like Travis to get the message out. And that's what, that's why we're so happy to affiliate with, uh, with your brand and with, with your support here. Cause it allows us to, to, to do things. Trevor Maddish is coming on here in just a minute and, uh, and he'll shed some light on the season coming up and he's a phenomenal story. And because of, of what uh, Brady Plus allows us to do. We got to tell that story and, and keep it going. So we appreciate that. We've got five questions for you. By the way, John on our live stream right. wants to know where you got that shirt, which he says is awesome. 
There you go. The, the Cougar Club. There nice, you go. So, you nice. know, fly, flying the flag. With the old you know, school the... Cougar head right on the chest. That's awesome. <laughs> That's right. That's the best logo I like. We, right. we should go back to that. John, one. join the Cougar Club and you get a shirt like the one Travis has got. <laughs> All right. Here comes five questions for you, Travis. Bilo, you it. ready? Okay. Let's do it fast. This is this is two-minute drill. Don't think. Don't think. Just first thing that comes to your mind. Favorite sports movie? Oh, man. Um, you know, I grew up wrestling uh, in high school. So now, you know, there was a great wrestling movie and I'm, the, the, the name's escaping me. Uh, they, you know, that came out probably in the late eighties, early nineties. Was it vision? Uh, maybe, was it vision quest? Uh, maybe so. Maybe, maybe so. You know, I, I think that was, you know, my, my flash with maybe sports fame in some weird way. So maybe I felt like, you know, <laughs> That was being highlighted through that movie. Uh, <laughs> nice. You know. All right. Okay. I think it was. I think it was Vision Quest. I can. I think you're Madonna right, yeah. had a song in there, and she was popular back in that time. So I think it's all coming back. I, th I think. I think Vision Quest. I would have been two, two years, two years old. Yeah, you missed 90s, a good one. So you can, can still watch that. You. <laughs> you find it somewhere. We'll yeah, find a good link for you. That is true. Uh, number two, favorite singer or band. Oh man, you know what? I'm I'm gonna expose myself a little bit here. I, I am a huge Lincoln Park fan. Oh, nice. Um, and uh, you know, I love listening to that if I'm working out, or sometimes I just need you know, you know, to get the blood pumping a little bit. Yep. Uh, Lincoln Park, and then I'll also maybe expose my soft side. I'm a lot. I'm a huge Swifty too. Love love Taylor <laughs> Swift. So that's something maybe I can relate to my you know my wife and my daughter with a little bit. But Lincoln Park Both ends of the spectrum. I'd have never tagged Lincoln Park with Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, yeah that but is. you know what? Yeah, there that's, you go. That's awesome. You know what? I I call people like you cultured. You know, because you're, <laughs> you're on both sides. You know, that's about as deep cultured as, as you get. That's though, a wide uh, range. Me, so, you know. it's a wide sure. range. Okay, number three, favorite breakfast cereal. Uh, you know, Fruit Loops. You know, I, I I won't take much much time. I'm I'm one of seven, six boys and a girl at home at once, and then actually nine of us total. So you can imagine we got sweet cereal twice a year: Christmas morning, Easter morning. If you didn't get up at the crack of dawn, it was gone. <laughs> and so you know, for me, it was get up early, hit the the Fruit Loops, and maybe if I'm lucky, get a bowl. Shift to the <laughs> nice. honeycomb. If I eat quickly, <laughs> you know, our parents used to do that on Saturday mornings to get us up to do chores. That would be the only day of sugar coated cereal. And we had like 10 brothers and sisters. So oh, if you uh, weren't up, you can relate. It was oh. over. And so we Sometimes were Sometimes you had to just grab the box and run. I mean, that was <laughs> that's actually really smart. Actually, that's, yeah. a, that's just that's a good strategy. That's how right we were there. trained. Right. <laughs> Number four, favorite cycling achievement. Do you say cycling achievement? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you like to ride the bike. What's what's yeah, the best? Yeah, so I've so I've done uh, Lodija. So those who are familiar with Lodija, it's a it's a one day bike race from Logan, Utah to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, two hundred and six miles. Yeah, I've I've done that four times, which uh, is great. I think five times, and you get some kind of plaque of some kind. I never oh, nice. quite made it to five, but I I would say you know, that was that was a lot of training. Training was probably harder than the race itself, but but also had some great you know, friends that I trained yeah. with and rode with and, you know, certainly was a you know, highlight for me. Are you still into that? Are you still riding? Uh, yes. However, not in the 206 mile range, uh, you know, unless Five we're counting ten. sort of monthly totals or something <laughs> like that. Hey, I still, I still love staying active and you sure. know, both physically, but also mentally. So and cycling certainly a part of that. Awesome. Nice. Okay. Last question. Favorite aspect of being a grandparent uh, with your wife, Laura? Wow. You know, we get, uh, we, we're like a highlight reel, right? You know, the grandparents come in, we get to like, you know, take them get them a treat at Seven Eleven. We get to like, take them do all these you know fun activities. And when they get worn out and a little on edge, we just get to hand them back uh, <laughs> and let, spirit. you know, parents deal with it from there. But you know what, sincerely, it's, it's like, I've always heard being a grandparent is like a reward for, you know, you go <laughs> making it through parenthood and, you know, our, our grandkids are awesome. We have two, a third on the way, and uh, you know, so exciting. Yeah. It's, a, it's a reward, but it's also um, revenge on the kids because because <laughs> my 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 mom does that with my boys all the time. Seven Eleven. I mean, juice. I'm, I, I'll go pick them up. It's at, it's nine o'clock at night, and they're bouncing off the walls, jumping up and down. Got um, fruit roll ups, hanging. You know, juice. And I'm like, what are you, what mom? What are you no doing? It's grandparent privilege. Mm, that's what that is. That's exactly oh, what it is. Our daughter's so careful. It gets all the health the food, you know, all that kind of stuff. And we're like, you know, Skittles, you know, right from 7-Eleven. Uh, we ruined it all. Travis Brady, president of Brady Plus. Hey, uh, 
good luck with Jared's wedding coming up next month and congrats on the latest uh, grandchild. Give Laura our best. We appreciate your support of this show. Of course. Thanks guys. Uh, Talk to you soon. All right. That's Travis Brady from Las Vegas world headquarters of Brady plus on the wise guys. And again, wise guys is presented by Brady plus.